So you're a new channel or a small channel and you're trying to figure out which analytics to look at or what algorithms, all these big channels keep talking about all these things. And when you go to look at your channel, analytics it's not there when you are first starting out a lot of these things aren't there because youtube has to collect data and then be able to analyze it put it together and give you some information so it will come i promise but these are three things that i'm going to share with you today that you should get pretty quickly if you haven't gotten them already that will help you grow your channel three things that you can look at that should be there and i'm also going to share two secret tips that i have learned as i've grown on my channel and hopefully will help you as well hey there my name is vanessa de Berlay, and on my channel i teach you how to turn your passion into profit stick around every week i will give you a new video so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button before we dive into the three tips i want to explain our relationship with YouTube, what their goals are and what your goals are. Obviously your goals are to share your passion and hopefully make a profit as you do that. You see all these large channels that are making pretty good money, but you have to understand that there's different ways that you can be seen on YouTube. They, they're really totally in control as far as how much they push you out and, and, and your videos and what your audience is looking for. It's all, it's all related. It's all these algorithms you've heard of YouTube um doing suggested videos browse features search and all this stuff and there's all different ways that you can be seen as a new channel the number one way that you want to focus on is being searched because think about it when you're looking for something you go right to google or youtube which are they're both owned by the same company and you want to ask a question and it gets answered sometimes they pop up an ad sometimes it's a blog sometimes it's a video that's where you want to be found as a small channel just really focus on what are different questions that i can um, answer what are problems that i can solve when people are searching for things and obviously you want it all to be interrelated within your topic but that should be your main goal in the beginning so that's what we're going to work on so the number one thing that you want to do is make sure you have your keywords put in the right places and i'm going to go over that in just a moment but i want to first explain the difference between a short keyword which is just the word or a long tail keyword as a new channel as a small channel growing you want to make sure your keywords are long and i'm going to give you an example let's go here to youtube under the uh, youtube videos and i'm going to just type in seo now notice that these are some top people who always talk about seo they've been around for a while you have brian dean neil patel he's huge he always talks about SEO search engine optimization for his blog for YouTube and you can see that he has several videos here now let me put a long tail keyword in this one says SEO for a new YouTube channel it's longer it's more specific and notice Neil Patel is not even coming up Catherine Manning is coming up she's very very good at putting in long tail keywords I actually recommend that you subscribe to her channel and watch her she's really good and then you have Annie um, Annie Dubay she's really good at long tail keywords see she's got three or four videos on this topic where when I just put SEO in neither one of them came up so they're using long tail keywords both of them are a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand subscribers and they're upcoming growing channels and I think that's one of the reasons for their success they've gotten really good at using those long tail keywords now where do I put them when you upload a video there's different places that you can put these long tail keywords I'm going to put a video above how to upload a video you can go ahead and watch that I put mine in when I'm uploading um, you can do it after the fact you can upload your channel and then insert them as you're editing but I want to show you where you want to put them make sure your long tail keywords are in your description this particular video is about featuring other YouTube channels notice I have the word feature other YouTube channels um, benefits of featuring other channels so you can see my keywords are in there a couple of times second make sure you put a description and now I have a short description here don't be afraid to put about three paragraphs and talk about in the description what your channel is about so that they um, the algorithms can pick up those keywords now don't stuff it don't just keep saying feature other channels um, because then they'll also pick that up and then they'll not show your video so be natural and talk about it the other place you want to do is go down here and show and put it in your tags now I have at use I've I, I should show you an example I, I want to make a, a playlist of bloopers but when I first started I thought oh I'm going to put all kinds of keywords in here so that everybody will find it and I had all these short words I didn't know what long tail keywords were 
and it probably confused the hell out of YouTube because they're like, what the heck is she showing here? So find what I always try to do is think of questions that people might ask and then put them in here. And you can see that my vidIQ and my TubeBuddy picked up several of these and I'm ranking for those keywords or those tags. Um, these I am not. How to feature channels on YouTube. Obviously, I'm not featuring for that, but down here, YouTube feature channels, um, feature the channels on feature other channels on your YouTube channel. So I know they're long, but I'm getting picked up with the longer ones because I'm still a small channel. So play around with this. You can go back and you can add them and you can um, put other things, you know, go back and revise them, delete the ones that aren't getting searched and add new ones. You want to make sure your video is talking about what you said. And I know I told you that YouTube doesn't know what you're saying, but if you do a transcript and attach it to your video and have that available, YouTube can pick that up because obviously those are your words in your video. Now, I want to show you one more place that keywords are so important. And a lot of YouTube channels, when they talk about keywords or in the videos, they don't really talk about this a lot. And I actually learned this from Catherine Manning. Um, like I said, she she's very good. Her channel's really been growing a lot in the past year. But put your keywords on your channel. Uh, this is Neil Patel as an example. Now he's been around for a while. He has a lot of viewers, but look right here. He put his name, Neil Patel, Neil Patel SEO, because that's what he's all about. And then SEO. And if you look at all his, his other keywords here, this is what his channel is about. He's very, very intentional. He has his keywords here on the channel, and then he has videos that, that talk about those keywords. That is another tip that as a new YouTube channel, small channel, be intentional. Make sure you really focus in on those keywords that you're about and then make your videos complement them. And I promise you that YouTube will pick you up and they'll be able to find you because you're being consistent. I highly recommend that you decide what these are and try not to change them too much. Let's move on to number two. The second algorithm that you want to watch as a new YouTuber or small channel is the click through rate. This is what the algorithm is that lets YouTube know how often people are clicking your thumbnail. So you want to pay attention to your thumbnail. It's kind of like another way of having keywords, another way of letting YouTube know that what your video is about. I'm going to use Neil Patel as an example. He has all his thumbnails are pretty much the same. He's very good at branding his channel and he has his text on the left side is picture on the right that is what's recommended and he's very short and sweet with his titles on the thumbnail you don't want to make your title be exactly what the title is underneath you would just want to put three to four words that very quickly will say what's in that video remember when you ask a question when you google it um when you go in and do a search you're going to get a whole bunch of videos that pop up and you're going to scroll everything on that first page usually and what's going to catch your eye is the thumbnail and typically that's the one that you're going to click you become visual so that's what you want to do now how do i know if my thumbnails are doing you're going to go into your analytics on the analytics page and then you're going to go under reach and you can see impressions click through rate that's called ctr 5.5% on my channel within the last 28 days. You can change it over here on the right-hand corner according to whatever you want. You can go by seven days, 90 days, go by the month, go by the year, however you wanna look it up. This will give you an idea of what you've been doing for the past month. That's not bad. Anything 2% and higher is really good. But how do I know what my individual thumbnails are doing. I want to know more specifically what is going on. So I will go ahead and click see more and it's going to bring me a whole list of all of my thumbnails and how they've been doing. And you can see the percentage rates here, the highest ones at the top, and then it goes down from there. Now, something that you can do to test your thumbnails is to go ahead and click the link below for TubeBuddy, get the 30 day free trial, and then use the AB testing feature that they have. It's in the legendary membership it is the highest one but use it for 30 days and see how it works here's an example i just googled it real quick but here's somebody that did two different thumbnails and then they use their TubeBuddy account to find out that the second one is the one that most people click so if you want to get an idea of what you're doing what's working what's not working use that a b testing and see how you're doing it with your click-through rate remember the higher the percentage the better 
Last but not least, you want to pay attention to retention. The longer somebody watches your video, the better. So you want to keep them there as long as you can. You don't want to give away all your information too fast, but you don't want to drag it out too long either. It's got to be that sweet spot there in the middle. Now, how do I know what my average view is? Now, if you look here, my average view duration for all of my videos in the last 28 days is two minutes and 53 seconds. That doesn't sound very good, but what if I have a video that is only three minutes my view duration might be a minute and a half that's 50 percent or i may have a 20 minute video where people only watched it five minutes and that's 25 percent. so you really want to look at the percent not just how long they stayed now if you use this engagement and go over here to view duration and then select more you're going to see below where it's going to give you the exact amount of time that the viewer spent on each video which gives you more information you can go and click it and then see where are they all dropping off why are they leaving at this point maybe you gave away your secrets at that point and they're done watching maybe you just kind of were getting boring right so you can find out but i want to know what the percentage is so what you do is you just go over here and click the, the video and it brings you into the analytics of one particular video now this one here you can see that they were watching it for four minutes and 30 seconds doesn't sound like a long time but this video was roughly eight and a half minutes long so the average percentage viewed was 47.8 percent anything over 40 percent is good this is a video that if you watch it really didn't do much for the first 106 days but then all of a sudden it started taking off and i really want to point this out to you because sometimes you're going to get discouraged and you're going to think my videos are just sitting there and i hardly have any views just keep doing what you're doing now this leads me into my final two tips that i want to give you and that's where i want to lead you to is be consistent remember i talked about your channel tags being matching your video tags and all those keywords complementing each other be consistent be intentional keep building around those things those keywords that you have said your channel is about and i promise you you'll start to grow the second thing that i want to point out and this is my other little secret tip is sometimes we want to go into you youtube or into google and we want to find out what's trending and sometimes that can give you a lot of views maybe there's a topic that's really trending and you can connect it to your keywords somehow and make it fit within your channel but remember this is what can happen i'm going to show you one of my videos that i made and it was trending it was about parlor to be honest remember back in january parlor parlor was the new social media platform it kind of went with my channel because i talk a lot sometimes about um, tutorials on different social media platforms so i did one on parlor um, actually i made four or five videos and this one just took off it was actually very exciting during that time it just exploded well then all of a sudden it went back down so the discouraging thing is yes it was trending everything picked up but then it's like a roller coaster it comes right back down so be careful when you pick things that are trending because it could be a little it's discouraging what goes up must come down sometimes right so is that helping my channel grow or did it just help give me a spike and that's what you want to think about before you do a trending video that's all i have for today i hope these three three things are helpful to you i'm going to reiterate them right here you've got keywords make sure you use them in all those places that i showed you number two pay attention to your thumbnail and your click-through rate the ctr and number three pay attention to retention those are the three algorithms that you want to pay attention to as a small channel as a new youtuber to help your channel grow thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe i make a video every week and i will see you next week